Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Let's get this log loaded up on the deck and get to milling it. And I'm going to run into a problem. So, <laughs> I'm going to have to fix it. So stick around. Let's see what happens and what I need to do to fix it. All right, so what happened? Well, I had had a wavy cut going and the band was fairly fresh. So I really didn't think it was the band. The, the log wasn't too naughty. You know, I thought maybe I was going a little bit fast on my last cut, so I backed off a little bit, skimmed it off and to see what it looked like and, and it was still cutting waves. And I thought, okay, it wasn't terribly bad, but it was definitely enough that I knew something wasn't right. And my first suspicion, because everything else is good on the mill, the alignment's good, the, the band alignment's good, the band was actually still fresh. So that usually points towards that drive belt. So I went ahead and checked it and it was only about 12 pounds. Now, Woodmiser says that should be 14 pounds. I tend to run it a little bit higher, about 14 and a half. But then again, it's kind of a little tricky to get just right. You gotta get your 18 inch rule in there, and pick the center of the band, and then use your spring tension gauge to check your tension. And I'll probably have to do a video on how to do that at a, at a later date. Um, I didn't get good enough video footage of doing it here. So I just showed you a little bit. Then of course, once all that's done and your brakes readjusted and everything else, I put a new band on. That way I know for sure, not only is my drive belt tension good, but my band is good. I wanna make sure it's good. And when I start cutting again, you're gonna notice a couple things. One, the sawdust is coming straight off the band like it should. Earlier on it wasn't. And I'm gonna link a video uh, to Hobby Hardwoods, Alabama, a gentleman on forestry forum who goes by Yellowhammer. He's a great guy, super knowledgeable. And he did a great video on that very subject. Truthfully, I would pay more attention to the sound of the mill, the kind of sawdust that's coming off, and the look of the, of the wood as I'm milling it. In other words, if it looks real flat, or if it's choppy and wavy, those kind of things, that's what I've always looked at. But l looking at uh, Yellowhammer's video frankly was really kind of neat because I hadn't actually seen what he shows in that video you can see it going on in mine so at the end of this here uh, be sure to check his video out and then come back and watch this one again and watch the sawdust coming off the band so anyway real good stuff to pay attention to folks and I will have to do a video on how to do a proper belt adjustment and brake adjustment for you it's something you have to do in the field. It's, it's just part of milling. There's always something that you might have to do when you're out there in the field and just standard maintenance, it needs to get done. So now that it's done, I'm cutting nice and straight. Let's get back to milling and let's get this log milled up and off the deck. Let's let her roll, sit back and enjoy it.
All right, last flip and roll just to get to where we need to be to trim these off to make that final product and then we'll be done. And while I'm at it, you know, I was thinking about eating sawdust. <laughs> well, check out the link below to my new merch store. I've, I've changed the mug a little bit. It's really cool. I think you're gonna wanna check it out. You're gonna wanna drink coffee with one of those in the morning. I'm telling you, you're gonna love them. Anyway, folks, y'all have a great weekend. I'll be back for more next week. The old Jarhead out.